ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ just uh just to set myself i just wanted to lead a ad gure name jugad gure name sat gure name sri guru dev name ad gure name jugad gure name sat gure name sri guru dev name ad gure name jugad gure name sat gure name sri guru dev name Uh, really great to be here i just arrived this morning uh, off the plane and uh i'm really excited to come here this is my first time to england and uh i've really been excited to come meet so many of my brothers and sisters here um i i live in espanola new mexico and uh i went to school in india when i was younger but now i'm back at home in espanola and i it's kind of a small community so even though i'm doing you know the work with seeknet uh, a lot of times i feel very disconnected surprisingly just um because i don't have a lot of connection uh directly with many of you um who are all over the place um i just wanted to share a little bit about uh you know about myself and my and you know some of the communities that i come from um you know some of you have probably met other uh Sikhs who are from other ethnicities um myself my parents became um became Sikhs and I was born and raised a Sikh um and many most of my friends are the same uh we we a lot of our parents sent us to India and at the time we were in Uttar Pradesh um nowadays uh like my brother he just graduated there as a school in in Amritsar in uh, Midipedi Academy and uh so they're fortunate to be able to be there in Amritsar and be you know Harmandir Saab every morning doing his nan seva and different things um but one of the things that I I realize you know after living in India and coming back after um I went through all kinds of struggles trying to find out who I was and my identity as a Sikh. I mean, I'm sure all of you have probably or maybe are or have already gone through that. Um, you know, like why am I Sikh? Why do I wear a turban? I mean, there's like the common things, but really when it comes down to it is uh you really finding that connection with Sikhi and that you actually feel it not just because somebody says you need to do panjbaniya and this is why you're Sikh you have to wear this it's not really about this just the symbols that you have but about connecting with the gurus and what they taught and feeling feeling uh that vibration of their of their spirit um i didn't um a lot of the work oh, well back to i think some of the things that i just wanted to share i know when when i came back from india i um i i didn't know very many people i i remember i wanted to make friends and i wanted to fit in um you know i i started you know i went out to clubs i did all the things that we were i was told not to you know that i wasn't supposed to do and but really at the end of it um a lot of it I I could kind of hear this little voice kind of screaming inside of me like like slowly becoming less and less vocal because I was kind of going down this different path and I really noticed that for me um I wasn't very happy and I mean it was of course it was fun doing those other things and um but ultimately I felt very empty it was temporary satisfaction and what i found um with being a sikh is that just be, you know wearing bana um doing simran doing your banis that that gives you that experience which connects you and makes you feel more whole um the bana you know you wonder why why wear why wear kurta pajama why i mean i I don't always wear kurta pajama. I you know, I play sports and 
I'm not fanatical about things. I'm, I'm a, you know, or, you know, I do pretty much most things that you guys all do. But when you go out in the community and people see you, they, they, they know that you're a person of faith and a person of commitment. And that, that's, that's very important um, in terms of people identifying you as a Sikh. And doing the, the, the Bani's and uh, chanting Gurbani, a lot of that, we wonder why, why do we do that? And, you know, some of the, some of, like, I was, uh, I don't know if any of you have seen the movie What the Bleep or, um, anyways, there's, a, there's this, and there's, a, there's this book that was out by uh, this Japanese gentleman, and, uh, and it really shows about, they've done scientific studies of how prayer and by chanting or saying certain words can affect water crystals and water. And if you'll see here, I just wanted to show you just to kind of like, you know, when you think about, you know, our whole bodies are over 70% water. And this is just one, that, this is a water crystal that was, they had on the side of the, the water is peace. And it, if you can skip ahead, you'll see that there's a, a few different ones. This one was, you know, some classical music, box, air of the G-string. Um, this was another classical music. And I just wanted to show you, if you skip ahead, a, um, and this was some Japanese folk music. This is heavy metal music. You can see how it's very, this is thank you, this is, you make me sick, I want to kill you. Whoops, I accidentally stopped that wrong. <laughs> and that's love and, appre love and appreciation. Um, and that's, uh, this is a Fujiwara lake before they did a prayer. And this is after they did a prayer. So I just wanted to kind of give you, you know, a lot of it, like I know when I, I'm a very, I'm kind of like uh I question everything. I don't take anything for granted, and I like to have some experience of it personally. Or, um, and you know, just when I see stuff like this, it kind of affirms, you know, like when we do Bonnie and we, or when we say hurtful things, um, you're not only affecting yourself, but you're affecting other people. I mean, there's been studies where they actually have proven. They sit in Washington D.C. They said they they pretty much said that. Uh, they're going to drop the crime by 20% in this certain period. And this, this group of like 5,000 people went and prayed. And, you know, it actually did happen. And I'm just trying to explain to you how the power of uh, Simran and a prayer and um, how it really does affect you and um, affect all those around us. Because we all are connected. We're all, I mean, when you start looking at somebody else and you try to, I always try to relate to them as uh, you know, I'm inside them or I'm part of them because too much we try to you know, find differences or separate ourselves. Um, so that's, uh, I'm kind of just w uh, winging it here. I'd, I'd, uh, there was some specific things I'd, I was thinking of talking about, but I don't really want to lecture. I, I was I, um, hoping to talk with many of you and, and uh, learn a lot of what you guys all have to share. Um, I really have come just to participate and uh, learn from everybody here and, uh, and interact and network with other people. Um, I just wanted to show you some other uh, pictures from our community. Some of you uh, see my blog, you've already seen some of these pictures. Um, so I just, just to kind of uh, show you a little bit about our community. Um, So this is just a little slideshow. This is uh, the, our Gurdwara in, in Espanol, and that's Chardi uh, Kalajata and Harmander Saab, and that's in Midipiri Academy. That's myself and my wife, and uh, my son. Uh, um, I just kind of want to just show you some of the diversity of some of the, di I mean, there's, um, we're kind of a, a, a relatively small Sangha, there's, you know, Two or about maybe two or three hundred. <laughs> That's my brother Dudham, and 
And, and he was so excited about tying the, the khanda on there, he was like, he just wanted to wear the turban just to wear the khanda. Uh, that's Guru Jod, he works at Sikhnet also. This was on, uh, I think, Guru Gadi Day. We do the procession around our uh, local area. And in the morning, there, uh, that was the morning Gurdwara. Um, this is up at the Ramdas Puri. There's where our campground where we have up above Espanola. And that's my mother, um, Narayan. He's just, we're just starting to get him practice meditation and trying to get him. And that's one of the commemorative. Oh, <laughs> that's Kurda Varsing. He's so silly. This I always think when I'm stressed out, I'd be like, that's what I got to do. <laughs> These are some people I met, and these are some old pictures from uh, and when I was in Amritsar, that's me. And they're not totally organized, so just they'll be a little bit random. Um, and uh, Gurdavar and his new son, there's a, they're amp in our local community, they're like all the Sikhs are all the as ambulance drivers. If there ever, ever a party, there's always three or four ambulances there. <laughs> that's an Adam car and her, her budging car. Uh, every year we have a Peace Prayer Day uh, interfaith event, um, you know, to pray and celebrate priests together with all the all the other people. And this is up in uh, the summer solstice, our camp that we had in in June. Uh, you know, everybody gets up at you know 3:30 in the morning, and this is later in the morning when everybody's there doing simran and meditation. Uh, this is uh, Sunday Gurdwara. Um, And just some, yeah, this is kind of the view from, this is in the morning, there's my parents doing the, leading the sadhana meditation. So yeah, you get pretty tired, so you crash. Huh? I just wanted to show you some, just to kind of give you a look at uh, this Mandeep thing from, um, just to show you kind of just some other, you know your brothers and sisters who are there, and I, you know, really, one of my one of my goals have been, you know, just with our younger generation that I'm part of, to really uh, connect and bridge the gap between I think between a lot of the quote Punjabi community, because really, my generation and and our sangats have kind of grown in a very different atmosphere from different culture, so there are different cultural uh, backgrounds. And there's some, you know, I think with the new generation, the, my age and younger and older, it's easier because many of them have, uh, you know, gone to school in India and can relate to both cultures. So, and all with you guys too, uh, you know, having grown up in Western environment. Um. <laughs> yeah, they had just gotten married, so and there's. There's a lot of different, uh, that's Narayan when he was a few days after he was born. Well, not that one, but we can hook him on that one. Nowadays, there's, there's a lot of different people from other, other countries that are becoming Sikhs. Uh, like my mother, she was in Chile, and, um, and they did the first Amrit ceremony there that, that they had. And there's some people in South America. And you know these are people that, on their own will, they get inspired and they become. A s these are some old uh, pictures from like 1974, um, when I, that's myself and uh, my mother. We were there and we we're kind of mixed up, but it's back in Los Angeles where I grew up, and my father. Um, back to Amritsar, they're doing gatka. I don't, I don't know a whole lot. I was pretty young then, but uh, I remember many of these from just from the pictures. There's Sanatam Kar and me, and these are the, they were the first Western Sikhs to play in Harmandar Sahib. It's on the way to Hemkan Sahib.
So it's just back in New Mexico and back to... It was a, an unforeseen. That's by Fo Justin. I was for my blog. I was trying to get more pictures, and then I, I posted some, and then some other people uh, wanted to see some others, so I was able to find some other pictures of and post them online. That's, oh, that's when I used to go to kids' camp. <laughs> we bless our food. Satna, we do chant long satnams to... Now they're doing uh, the Selen Harmandar Sab cleaning out the... I know this is a little bit mixed, but I, anyways, hopefully it's somewhat interesting. I've never seen or been in there when they've done uh, the seva. I do a lot of the wedding photography, so I happen to <laughs> take a lot of the uh, couples, the good dancing and yeah. They're like super Punjabi. Yeah, they did after this. They, they did a pretty good Punjabi dance. So that's, that's pretty much it, I think. Well, thank you. I just wanted to kind of give you a little picture, you know, so uh, you guys would, you know, see a little bit about from our communities, and uh, and I'd be happy. I know we're kind of short on time. All right, thank you so much uh, for, sh for, well, you could just be, uh,